Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. So in meditation towards what I was getting for you, some of you are very distracted right now. You know, you just can't focus because there's obsession with someone, something. Okay, so you're very distracted or someone's very distracted when it comes from you. But when I was um, meditating, I was getting lights, light, lights, camera action or just lights and then talk, 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 talk. But then like the cameras and the lights went out and then like somebody was like cowering down or they were sad or they were curled up or you know it's an energy maybe even of depression let's see what's going on for Taurus what's going on for Taurus what's going on okay judgment the age of Aquarius the awakening you gotta awaken to yourself this is know thyself true self listen to the calling Universe is speaking to you about something, someone, definitely you though, you, you got to kind of dig up your past, deal with it, and then bury it, and then you can move forward. Um, you keep making the same decisions with the same type of people, different face. So it's just like, if you deal with you and know, know yourself, know thyself, then you can have so much better, so much more. You can ascend, you can go to the next level. Um, judgment, judgment on self first. Okay. Um, spiritual awakening. Something came into your life to do that for you. But I think you're missing it. Obsession. All right, let's see. What else is going on? Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Or you need to have that Scorpionic change where you dig deep in your emotions. You go to the other side, the dark side of your emotions also. The side that you suppress or repress or don't want to deal with. The nine of pentacles, definitely yourself. Um, some of you could be very abundant within yourself. You got money, you got this, you got that. Your business is good. Um, you're abundant, you have more than enough. You have a lot of packages come into your house. Um, you could be spending a lot. You keep people outside of your heart space though. You don't let them within your heart or your home or you're just untrusting or there's something about not letting people in your heart space. There's no heart chakra healing, but you just keep wanting to pair or bond with. You can't pair or bond with anybody because you haven't done the healing. You want to give love to somebody, but you haven't gone to the source of love. God got healing and then gone to a relationship or ask for a relationship, but you might be doing it backwards. I want a relationship. I haven't healed. I haven't gone to source, but I want a relationship. Therefore, you always get a breaking down in a relationship. You always get something faltering, failure. Mm. Um, Ace of Swords. Some of you, okay, some of you been touched, abused. Um, Ace of Swords, yes. Yeah, like you you got to make some irrevocable changes within yourself. You got to face self, self. The Ace or the One is about self, self mastery, self self-identity how you identify to the world it's like you you need to be honest also with the ace of swords about something be honest with yourself be honest with other people your audience Ooh, okay about something i'm gonna put something out there yes seven of swords you might need to be honest with yourself here 313 on the showing up on my phone and then the phone illuminated so 313 could be significant for you. 313, I know 13 is a death card, death number, transformation. It's not, you know, not a death, but like a death of old self. Because you know that self. You, you're being reborn, right? So some of you definitely need to go to an energy of knowing that self. You need to go to the perfect one, the three, 313. And the perfect one is God, God above. Send the swords coming out. I don't know, you keep, it's like a deceptive energy, a deceptive nature about yourself. You're not showing your true self. Maybe that you really want to be a loner, that you don't want to be in a relationship. Or this could even be about interpersonal connections, sexuality. This could be about anything. But it's definitely that you're hiding something or there's a deceptive nature about you or you're lying to yourself here. Um, you also are trying to make 
a relationship more than what it really is. You've gotten a manifestation of what somebody is or how they are. They are deceptive in nature in every way. You might need to just face the music on that. You can't make them anything more than what they are. Um, a fox, a fox or a wolf in sheep's clothing. That's how they come off. This person will leave you holding the bag. Maybe they left you holding the bag. Maybe they left you as a scapegoat. They didn't have any intentions of, you know, going the distance with you. Usury. You have a magician here. The Seven of Swords and the Magician, somebody is just not of good energy, not of high vibration, um, not high frequency. Somebody could be manifesting, but it's from a place of deception or deceptive nature, or um, this is somebody who uses their words. They put them together very eloquently. Um, very, I heard studious also. Um, maybe even they add some superstition into it, maybe to make people believe um, this, this is a, a, a bad person, bad magician, somebody who uses, this is lies, lies and deceptive, de deceptive nature, deception by way of lies and omission, not adding everything, um, not saying everything. I don't know what's going on here. Um, yeah, the death card definitely needs some relationship ended because you found out that somebody was a liar. Um, something needs to be over. Somebody needs to have deep transformative change. You or another person could be dealing with a Scorpio. You don't have to be. Scorpio season could be significant for you. Um, some of you. Um, sex. The dark side. Pluto. War. Power. There's somebody who wants power in relationships. And how they get the power. Maybe it could even be to usurp. So they take power by force. And force could be subtle also. It could be the de deceptive words that someone says to you. You believe it. You believe the lie. You believe the illusion. You believe the, ca the spell that they're casting, right? Um, hmm. The Hierophant. Somebody could be in some dark order also. Somebody could be in some dark, demonic evil egotistical order mm. it could be you Taurus coming up with a higher fit here you need to get under some spiritual guidance you need to have law and order you need to practice law and order there could be none right now with in a relationship within some dynamic and that's why it's not working the full card you the, it's saying that you've learned the lesson you can go in a new direction let something new develop for yourself it's up to you though, because you live this life. Spirit, God, angels ain't gonna do nothing. They're not gonna physically manifest to you and then push you into newness. But what they're saying is you have the opportunity to go in a new direction, new development. Let something new develop, either for you or in this relationship. It's like, I feel an energy of, I wanna do this, but I also wanna take this person with me. Or I wanna do this, but I want them to go with me. I want to go here, but I want to bring them with me. Maybe these people don't want to go. Maybe these people don't want to ascend. Maybe they don't want to know themselves. The tower, I can't make it up. Somebody is, something was found out, something was expelled, something was, it was a major shift in the energy here to where you couldn't, you can no longer hide from it. But this is, it has historical value. What you saw that manifest in reality in the 3d was already there but you chose to overlook it you chose to just continue when you know you shouldn't have this could even be somebody realizing that maybe they have i don't want to say that lord maybe they have is that true is that true? Yeah. Somebody could be realizing that they got something that they can't get rid of. It could have been sexually transmitted. Came from somebody that you knew from your past.
I'm ready to get out of here now. What's going on? Let's get some advice for Taurus. The faithfulness card. Okay. Um, somebody's wanted a new start with you. They may be even coming back saying that they want to be faithful to you. Cheerfulness. They want their happiness back. Or they're trying to find happiness. Young woman and the priest. Some of you need to go back to being pious or chaste or you, abstinence, abstaining from despair. And you may even do that because you're finding out something here. You have to deal with it. Mm. It brings a lot of melancholy and sorrow within this. Maybe because you were dealing with somebody where there was a lot of frivolity, a lot of, you know, just... Um, careless activity, um, somebody being careless with your heart, with your time, your emotions. Yeah, you held on to hope that maybe things would change, but this person is not offering any change. Five of Cups, Scorpio coming up again. Scorpio is really significant in this reading there's somebody in a deep dark place they regret not saying things they regret doing things they regret there's remorse resentment somebody just wants to throw the whole situation away and then there's also somebody wanting to recover it this is just a oh, sum total of bad decisions Union, yeah, this union was just a bad decision. Also, all it was was fun times. Beauty queen, get out there. You know, if somebody does perform on a platform or they do something, they have a platform. True gem, expect the unexpected from the least expected person. Okay. Children could be playing a part in the relationship. The gift could be a child. You could get a child, a family. If somebody has children with someone and they want their family back or they're trying to give gifts, they want, yeah. Somebody that has children is trying to get somebody, get their family back. It could be one child, mother and father there. They could be trying to get pregnant. Yeah. This is what I have for you. If it resonates, go over to the website, book your own reading there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.